Hello friends and welcome back and a happy new year even though I'm late to the party. I was a little bit out because I had to have some emergency spinal surgery but I'm back and uh, slowly recovering and of course now looking at a new Baofeng radio. This thing never stops. Baofengs keep coming in all the time. Now uh, even though Baofeng has sent me radios before for review this is not the case. I bought this one myself. Uh, from an Amazon link and I will provide an affiliate link below for those of you that might be interested. This is going to be a short overall review on the Baofeng 5RM. Hmm. Like most Baofeng radios that come out of late, it's always claimed to be an upgrade to the ubiquitous UV5R. Well, uh, is it an upgrade? Well, kind of like the appearance and the body style is very similar. It's like a very, very big brother to the small UV5. I know, I know, this is a BFR3, which is basically an 8-watt version of the UV5R. So please, don't don't put a comment on that. It's, it's, a, it's a UV5R, okay? So this is like a big brother to it. Um, it's enlarged in every which way. It does have a big display, which is color. We'll get to that in a minute. It does have a lot of the newer features that most of us are looking for. But really, all they've done is they kind of like, I think somebody just took this in a 3D modeling software and just kind of like blew it up in proportion and then just went ahead and made the molds. and Because pretty much everything is the same. I mean, forget the knob factor. That's a nut. But I mean, really look at it in every which way. This is just a larger version of this little teeny tiny radio that we have come to love. So even even the buttons on the side and everything else is the same. So what are the nice features about this radio? Well it does have a color screen like I said and it is actually a full color screen. It is not like uh, that snafu that came out on the 17 with the different models of the UV 17 that had the blue screen that was really a UV 13. Uh, I don't know what Baofeng's plan is or how they're marketing or who is doing what at Baofeng, quite honestly. I know Baofeng won't manufacture and produce any radio you want them to as long as you pay for it, um, which is kind of like, okay, whatever. Um, but this radio, again, is in the same major confusion run that Baofeng does because this radio is available on different sites as a UV5RM, uv 5 RH, uh, just simply 5RM, 5RH. Some are sold as uh, dual band, some are sold as tri band radios uh, to include the one and a quarter meter band as well as the 70 centimeter and the two meter band. Um, then this one in particular has air band, which is basically what I was looking for because pretty much all the radios I now have have air band on them. I live close to an airport and I like to listen to air band. So this is the 5RM, not the H. So this is not the tri-bander. This is actually the multi-band with air band. It comes in at 10 watts, or at least it's marketed as a 10 watt radio. And yes, of course, I measured it. And no, it's not 10 watts like all Baofengs. This one comes in uh, somewhere around 7.5.8. Uh, 7 point something between 7.4 and 7.8 uh, as far as power ratings both in VHF and UHF which is not bad it's it's a pretty decent radio clear quality it's hefty it's uh, it's it's kind of chunky solid build um, I don't know if that's a good thing or not I mean compared to the 17 uh, Pro GPS it is about the same size and heft. They're similar in many ways actually. Um, I do like the color buttons. It does have some extra features over the 17. It does not, does not have GPS. This one does. This one does not. But this one does have a quick frequency search. So if you press and hold that it's going to look for any other frequency that's transmitting in the area. So if you have got something else going on and there it tells you right there directly what the frequency is and if there is a code inserted in there which is kind of a nice feature uh, it's it's just it's all headed in the right direction it's a pretty clear screen 
it's very legible. Uh, I have tried it outside now in bright sunlight. May not be the brightest screen out there to see in color, but for most usage, it's fine. Um, I like the overall feel of it. I mean, it compares a little bit to the TID Radio H8, which I've reviewed a couple of times before. Uh, I'll have a link to that review below in the description for those of you that might be interested. It has the usual configuration. So you've got your push to talk button on the one side, the two extra programmable buttons again there, um, flashlights on top, course volume and on off knob. And then you have on the side the K1 connector with a two pin, which is a standard Kenwood connector that all bow things work on. Uh, battery clip, of course. Uh, well, actually, the nice thing about the clip is it actually screws onto the radio and not the battery. Uh, the battery is USB C rechargeable. And it's actually the battery itself that you can recharge. So you can hook it up, you can charge the battery. It does come with a cradle. So you can plug it in the cradle as well if you want to, or you can just charge it with USB if it's in your car, your vehicle, or off of a uh, power pack or something like that. Uh, the battery on this unit is a 25. 100 milliamp hour battery or so it's rated and interestingly enough this radio does have an FCC rating now that to me is a little bit confusing because this radio which I picked off Amazon was not locked in any way so this radio is actually open pretty much on all frequencies I've transmitted on ham I've transmitted on GMRS um, so I don't know exactly how that falls in. Now remember, I've always said this, I neither condone nor condemn nor endorse uh, unlocking radios, but you know what? Act responsibly, do what you want to do. Uh, be licensed if you want to be legal, don't be licensed if you don't want to be. It's, you know, we're adults, so let's act as adults and do what we think is right and what we should do. So, um, airband reception is pretty good. Again, I live close to an airport, so I like to listen to it. As a matter of fact, you can see I've got a couple of frequencies there, the tower and approach. Uh, and I listen to those, and we can turn it up and see if there's anything coming in. Right now, I don't think there is any signal coming in. Oh, there we go. Not, not too clear. I, ha I did put an airband frequency antenna on this, and obviously that will always improve the reception. This antenna that I currently have on the 17, which is a 15-inch antenna. This is actually tuned for airband radio, and this one does improve reception for airband compared to the standard antenna which comes on, which is basically more tuned for ham frequencies and so on. Um, so what do I think about this radio? I like it. Uh, is it going to be my daily carry? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure about that yet. Right now I'm still testing it. I'm still playing with it. It is still relatively new. I'm a little annoyed by the standard confusion with Baofeng's different models and different frequencies. Um, the big issue with these radios is always spurious emissions and harmonics and secondaries and so on and so forth. Now I did do some testing on my own. I'm still experimenting. Uh, with um, with the equipment. I'm not too good at it yet, uh, but I have seen some other reviews on these radios and it's kind of a it's a it's a kind of a mixed match. I mean uh, some people say that it does have uh, spurious emissions and harmonics on my testing which again I'm not going to rely on because I'm not too sure I'm doing it right. Uh, with my testing it seemed to just barely barely pass so again i don't know um you know if that's good or not if you have the equipment and you have good solid equipment and are better trained to using it and testing with it please do and post in the comments for the rest of us uh it'll certainly be appreciated would i get this radio well obviously i did and i bought it uh it wasn't even sent to me i i recommend it i'll actually i'll have a link to it uh, if it's something you're looking for as far as an unlocked radio with airband, uh, it, it's solid, it's robust, battery life is very good on it, by all means. I mean, if you want to grab foreign, go for it. Uh, if you like this video, I really would appreciate a, a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. 
uh, you're welcome to thank me. You can leave a super thank me. You can buy me a cup of coffee. Uh, right now, I could use all the help I can get after my surgery, but that's not here or there. Um, thanks again for watching. I will have another surprise video coming up very soon on TID Radio's newest little radio, but that'll be a surprise.